Oh, oh my god. Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today I'm going to react to the eighth track of Nightwish's album Human Nature, and this is the song Tribal. So this is the second last song on the first CD of this album. So the next song will be Endlessness. Today, Tribal. I have read the lyrics before and I have uh, searched for a meaning of the lyrics. The lyrics are not too extended, not too long. We see them here in the description of the video and I've seen an explanation of a guy that does more than just the lyrics but I've tried to only uh, read some explanations on the lyrics itself and a lot of his explanations are biblical it definitely makes sense the way he describes it a lot of words like in the last one that I also had to uh, search for as I wasn't really sure what the words meant though I will talk more thoroughly about the lyrics after we watched the video and after we listened to the music. Uh, but it sounds very interesting nonetheless. Okay, without any further ado, guys, let's check this one out. Here we go. Very interesting beginning. Huh. Sounds already pretty. Okay, guys, I'm gonna pause it just this moment. Sorry, we're going to turn back and listen to the whole thing, but this beginning already gave me some, not really just biblical vibes, but uh, some Arabic kind of vibes and in the explanation that I saw and and through the lyrics that I that I read before there are some references to Abraham who we of course know from the Bible and of course that took place in the Middle East this sounds already kind of uh, like it's from those like it's inspired on music that comes from that region that area. So let's return a little bit. A very interesting beginning. Very Arabic sound, I think. It reminds me of that. Also sounds pretty dark. Smoke. Here. Ooh. Ooh, lies wars there. Oh, yes. Already like this. Abraham here. Is that holy soul? <laughs> oh my god okay so guys beforehand before hearing this track so far my thought was Ben is so far the roughest and the hardest song on the album tribal already kind of got to that level right okay I'm I'm 
all in for this. Um, let's return a little bit to the point where she really was spitting these words aggressively, um, spitting these lyrics towards us. Um, the video also is very interesting. I saw the ring over there falling down. Very interesting. Also, I saw the face here of the of the statue, which was the same that we saw in the video clip of or in the lyrics video of music, the first song of their album. So they don't reference the term music in here, but they reference the video. I don't know if that's a reference, but let's return. Skull here in the background. Okay. This is very interesting. So we hear a lot of it, it's almost like it's it sounds like they're making tribal sounds uh, like it's a whole tribal a group of people that that are in the same mindset uh, that make these tribal sounds uh, in the background at least that's what it sounds like to me very interesting but why are they skulls though skeletons I should say uh, they follow each other. That that's definitely apparent here. If all they all follow the same mindset. What do these stones represent? Change it up. Again, it's a surprise. Okay, nice change there at the end when it came to the rhythm there. It was first pa 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 towards the end of the last couple of counts there. Um a very interesting so the lyrics were done quite early in the song and it's not a long song. I think it's the shortest so far on in the album, I assume. But that said, let's let's look at these lyrics again uh, a little bit more thoroughly. So we start off by saying here 10,000 tales for a curious for the curious mind. 
Um, what should we get from this? Is it like, for example, religion is born through endless stories, endless tales told by uh, leaders, biblical or not? After this, they say bazaar of heavens for the hive mind for a hive mind and the bazaar is like some kind of uh marketplace uh with tons of stuff to buy do they mean the different kind of religions here for a hive mind i looked that up hive mind if i got that right a hive mind is where a group of people a ton of people follow the same mindset but it's it's they got that mindset through another person that leads the whole pack let's or or the whole group let's say so there's one individual that decides the mindset of the whole group of people and the hive is of course a reference to a beehive uh because they all follow the queen around that so a hive mind it is like one person is leading all these other people into the same mindset and tells them tales about in this cat in this case perhaps of about god religion a multiple amount of of uh, of subjects is what they're talking about i think uh then they say abraham cut into three and abraham has also been a leader of some sort uh left his country, I believe, and his people to start another nation or, or lead another nation. But cut into three, I have searched for that. And there are different ways in, you can, in which you can interpret it. After that, they also say if man found gods and began to preach. And Abraham was also one that was approached by God, is what is told. God approached Abraham and told him what to do so man found gods uh or gods found him i don't know and began to preach so he began to tell stories to people probably and people started to get into the same mindset as abraham did in this particular case but it's not only abraham of course there are multiple people that had a similar situation but in this case it's abraham suffering loves faith loves suffering uh, and at this point, I believe, isn't it there that she started to spit these lyrics like very aggressively? Was it there? I think so. Yeah, that is, that's exactly where she started. So, suffering loves faith, loves suffering. So, is that they, they, they have faith, they, they believe that person that is leading them in the tribal, in the tribe? Is it like, like... People are suffering, but they have faith in someone that is telling them these stories, is leading them into a mindset. I don't know. Uh, smile to elders like a good doll. Uh, and that's also what we see in the, in the video where we have those skeletons all doing the same thing. They do everything that, that one person, that one leader is telling them to do or is leading them to. They're just blindingly following that person like a doll like without thinking uh, repent accept separate yourself suck the oriet tongue so an oriet tongue is apparently from the explanation that that guy gave uh, about the lyrics that references to the concept of golden tongued prophets so prophets that preach to the people and uh and, and people are just admiring them is is what i think this means sing the praise of your creation bright prices thought crimes blind minds the word hides vivid monsters to bed the tribal itch so if i'm correct about this of course like always there are multiple interpretations about these lyrics uh, but what i get is people do good things do bad things but they sing praises to their preachers to their uh leaders let's say to somewhat ignore the bad the bad things that they've done the sins the crimes that they've committed ignoring those or using the mindset of their preachers of their leaders as an excuse to do those crimes or to do those sins 
I don't know. Also, this is totally, like I said, almost biblical and reference to what has happened in the past with religion and such. But also, you can kind of see that currently in some situations. A very easy situation that everyone probably can relate to is if you have a bully, for example, in, in the classroom, uh, a lot of other people will follow that one blindly, partially because they're afraid to be bullied themselves, but also because they want to belong, I think. And that is also a, a part of this, I think. They want to belong to something, not to be alone. But as a whole, I think a message that they kind of want to give with the meaning of this song is don't just blindly follow someone because they tell something to you because they have promised something because they have said something don't just believe what everyone says without being somewhat critical of it like have a mind for your own don't just follow someone's orders you can follow orders if you know why you follow those orders if it's right to you if it's correct if 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 you agree with that but i mean as a whole i think there will always be a little bit of a situation like this not only with people like they say a, a hive mind like bees and such just in the animal kingdom there are a lot of species that follow this concept of a tribal uh and 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 follow one mindset uh, through one leader. Guys, tell me what you think about this song. I think it is slightly rougher than Pan, music-wise. It is shorter. I will listen to it a couple more times. And guys, if there are more explanations on these lyrics, and there are not too many lyrics, but they're definitely interesting lyrics, definitely let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts about this is i feel like a lot of the times nightwish sings about controversial topics and it's always like in in some some sort of gray area between philosophically and scientifically they have a mixture between those two and nobody knows what is actually right or correct you only know what you believe in of course guys next one will be endlessness that will be in two weeks so definitely stay tuned for that one as well because that's the last one from the first CD and that means in four weeks I will hopefully be able to do the live stream with you guys um, on the whole second CD which should be an instrumental CD uh, and should be a good time for all of us, right? I hope you enjoyed my reaction to this one. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also don't forget to check out my other reactions to Nightwish. I have done all the previous songs on the album so far so check those reactions out as well or my other reactions to Nightwish or other bands or other singers for that matter. I also have music videos and tutorials for you guys to check out so thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>
or or using you can follow someone or you can so you can follow s not too much it's s slightly it's li it's like i don't know and scientific and si and s between belief and science 